Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back here, and today we are going to be playing some Q Block. Uh, why are we back to playing Q Block? Just because I wanted to. I'll be honest. Um, I guess I should start off by saying this: if you guys live in Canada. It is currently Canadian Thanksgiving, so I hope you guys had a great time, had some great food with your family. Um, yeah. I'm not going to waste any more time in this intro. Let's just jump into the first game. Mark, I'll see y'all there. Let's go! Versus Gina! 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 So, game one. Mage. I have no idea if Mage is going to be a decent or an awful matchup to play. I'll be honest. Uh, I know for a fact Gul'dan is really good in this matchup. Um, just because if they get to a point where they're permanently freezing your board, well, your hero power can trigger them, right? Like, can actually, like, kill them. So, yeah. Oh, man. So, because Canadian Thanksgiving is on a different day than uh, Americans, I believe American Thanksgiving, is it on, it's on Thursday, right? Every year it's on a Thursday. Well, in Canada, our Thanksgiving is on Monday. But, so basically everyone gets a uh, Monday off. I feel like, I feel like everyone knows about American Thanksgiving, and Canadian Thanksgiving, on the other hand, is a very... It's a topic that not that many people know that much about. I, I don't know if that's just a me thing, or if that's actually true. But I, I've just noticed that whenever people ask questions about it, like, they, they know... I just swore I... Oh my god. That's fun. Uh, so, typically, at least my family, we celebrate on the Sunday, because this way everybody has the Monday off, so, you know, have a little bit too much to drink or whatever, and also clean up this way, you actually have a day to clean up after a party. That is always useful, trust me. The next two days after Christmas are always awful, because we have a party at my place on Christmas Eve, and then at my aunt's place on Christmas Day. But we go to my aunt's place at like 11 o'clock in the morning, and people only leave our place at like one o'clock in the morning. So I, I bet you guys can see, you know, dishes and whatnot, everything gets stuck on. It's a pain in the ass. You don't have any time to clean up after the party or after like opening gifts or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so, so I went to celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. I also think we, I feel like we eat very similar food on uh, both of our Thanksgivings. Like we had turkey with stuffing. Um, green bean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't really call it casserole, but it's like a green bean dish that my aunt makes. It's very, very good. Um, potatoes, sweetened, mashed, um, normal other accoutrements, I guess. It's, it's pretty good. I, I enjoy Thanksgiving. It's nice to, to, to go sit down and relax and talk with family and slam back a couple of brewskis. Speaking of slamming back a couple brewskis, my transitions are amazing today. Of everybody has a beverage, I'm currently drinking me a brewski. God, it's good though. Oh, man. I am super fatigued. Oh. I don't know why. I woke up at like 2 p.m. today. I couldn't sleep well, I found last night. And, uh, yeah, I ended up staying awake much later than I planned. Like, I was planning on going to bed at, like, 1 o'clock because I was just exhausted after work. That's why I didn't stream. Also, I don't think I'm going to be streaming tonight just because I'm also completely exhausted. But I'm going to be, be, or I guess yesterday, I'm going to be live tonight, though. Um, Monday night. Uh, I'm going to probably be playing just some um, Hearthstone. Not sure if I want to... Maybe we play a different meta deck than we've played. Maybe switch over to some mage or something, just so we can play something different. I think I think that could be, that could be fun. Um, I 
Yeah. Oh, uh, what is... I don't even know what's going on, I'll be honest. Am I playing this, like, Burn Mage? What the fuck am I playing against? He's played... Too Mysterious. He's played... Oh, this is unfortunate. Uh... Should have have no idea what the fuck I'm playing against. I feel like I'm playing against some burn mage. He played burn down. He played explosive ruins. He's played roaring torch. Like, oh, he's played fireball. <laughs> he's still can objected to. That's fine. I guess survives. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, next we have endgame, endgame PBs. That's pretty dope. Just came to say goodnight. Um, all right, we have a bunch of armor now. I can play this next turn, get a couple of these back. Ah, fun to watch him mill out, gain some life, punch face, try to get this objective to if it's counter spell. Ooh, I like that minion. Well. It's subjected to, I mean, it dies. Ah, oh, should have attacked this. I missed 8 damage. Oops. Feels bad. It'll be our little secret. If you can't kill this, I mean, this just generates so much value. Especially into the Blood Reaper cooldown the next turn. Um, he didn't throw that at the cube. Interesting choice. I'm gonna try. I guess I test to see if I can get this countered. I really just kind of want to play this though. Uh, I guess let's start with this. One more. Do this here. I don't need a nine one. No, not our eight eight. Never hurt nobody. Except for my opponent's dome. We're at a lot of health, and I feel like he used a lot of burn so far. So I'm not too worried. I, know, I might just be dead, but I doubt it. I feel like I need to draw. I don't have any more one cost minions in my deck. Oh no, I have Cobalt Librarians. Uh. I really want to play this stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. It's safe. Oh, in blood and shadows. I know he has ice block, but he dies at the end of turn as well. I just have a bard so big he can't do shit. I done. Many secrets. He draws three cards here, then one for turn and dies. I'm late. I'm late. This is the most interesting secret mage deck I've seen in so long. Oh man, he played. His deck just felt really, really slow. So I kind of was just able to sit there and take advantage of it. And even with the misplay I had earlier when I meant to play Riathal and I ended up going to file. Um. It was wild. Uh, it was... 
It was a lot. Anyways, uh, I guess let's queue up the next one. Yeah, I right, guess, yeah, I'll see y'all there. Thompson versus Malfurion. All right. Game two? That was a long queue. I had time to go close my door and find my Rolodex of magic cards. <laughs> I don't know if Rolodex is like the right word, but I have, um, I've been in the process of building a werewolf deck. Uh, like a commander werewolf deck, but I hate taking my cards in and out of sleeves. So I just have a pile of werewolves in clear, like high quality clear sleeves. And my deck is just, like, a whole bunch of the flip cards. Like, I have, like, the Inner Shad ones with, like, the checklist and the same thing with Dark Ascension and shit like that. Um, so, I feel like it's kind of like a Rolodex of just what the werewolves do. Also, does I find, when you play with the cards flipped, right, especially all the werewolves, we do a lot of the thing, uh, me and my, well, no, it's more me and one, uh, me, my oldest brother, and two of his friends play, we do a thing called Deck Roulette, where we put all of our magic decks in the center of the table, they all get assigned a number, and then we write a number generator, um, so everyone could get a deck. So, so I, not only are you just not playing just your decks, but you get to play everyone's decks, and it's, it's pretty interesting, because you get to play a whole bunch of decks or styles you, like, never play, like, I personally don't like um, having a stacks deck, uh, so I don't. I never built a stacks deck. Yet um, one of my buddies, he has a competitive competitive Derevi deck that stacks. Or I'm also not the biggest artifact player, and my my other buddy has Derevi artifact combo recursion. Uh, as his deck, so you know, sometimes I get to play that, sometimes I get to play a variety of things. And I think it generally makes the game really interesting. Also, I'm just dead here, and... I oh, man, nothing I could have done. That was fun. But I only drew two things, which means he has the rest in hand. Hopefully he has Aviana in hand. Hopefully he has Aviana in hand. It's the only thing I can really hope for. This way it takes him a little bit longer to get there. But if he drew Aviana, I mean, we're just dead. So yeah. Also, to be fair, it does help that I have a lot of the werewolves foil. And that makes me happy. I I had tried to build a deck earlier. Um, but never, like, never really found a successful list for it. Uh, it's called both way. The beauty of nature. I can see it's another tribe where I go, huh? I don't want to give him that much mana to play around with. He has, if he has Aviana plus one mana, I mean, he just goes off, copies my hand, and I lose the game. I'm not... It is what it is. Uh, well. Again, I don't have the highest hopes of winning the game, I'd say, but... Uh... This matchup is just, it's so rough for the deck we're playing, let's be honest. I have done this now, I feel like, ten times in the last, like, two days. Where I've just played the wrong fucking card out of my hand, and I'm staring at it, I see my- I, could have swore I saw myself hovering endgame, like, up until here, and then when I brought it here, it switched to cube. I'm like, fuck. And to be fair, it didn't matter. 
You know, I would have done this. I'm pretty sure I'd still die here. Well, I'm not dead, but he steals my deck. His deck's a whole bunch of trash. My deck is full of a whole bunch of big ass demons, you know? Um. And I'll never have the mana do this plus this, so. It also doesn't help if he just draws the rest of my things. Oh, you can almost go like infinite with that. Uh, let's just see what he. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I actually think there's only one. I'm thinking about it now, and I just looked through the pile of cards, and I realized there's one proxy. I have a proxy of the new Arlen that got the Nightbound, Daybound Arlen. That's just because I want a very, very specific art of that card. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, to be fair, maybe they got one in. I, I should check. Anyways, uh, we have time for one more game at least, so let's uh, queue it up. The price of the card actually did go down substantially. Man. When I was looking at it originally, they were like 80 bucks or something absurd. But I guess they haven't been standard for a while. Uh, let's do this. Um, yeah. I've, I've just been toying around with rebuilding the deck. And I miss having my little puppy deck. It sounds weird calling... A whole bunch of werewolves a puppy deck but it's it's my little puppy deck i like them <laughs> i like my little wolfies um yeah but i built uh the the guy the commander was tovalar he's pretty cool i have a fancy art of him not foil though but i'm only missing the new uh werewolf fall. i have all the old ones this is i had built a werewolf deck back in the day so i could even have I'm my OG foil hunt master, and that's a gorgeous fucking card. And I just don't play him, and I'm like, I love this card. Pull my 8 8. Yeah, buddy! Bitch, you thought you were playing against something else, but you're actually playing against fucking Q Block. Let's go, buddy! Oh, that's amusing to me. That is fucking amusing to me. Uh, oh yes, attack it right into my 8-6. I know that's exact. Ooh, that's a good one too. Let's tap and then touch that. This is not quite touch. Uh, it's not quite a touch. It's... Oh, the other card that I have that's like last I checked was fairly expensive was my OG foil inner wolf inner wolf oh I got a reprint it's still 12 bucks though got a reprint in a secret layer but that secret layer art is I'm gonna say it's fucking atrocious compared to the original art the original art of inner wolf is fucking dope you know what I decided I'm gonna spend. I I know I wasn't gonna stream tonight just because I feel genuinely exhausted. Um, and I feel like whenever I stream and I feel like this, it's it's never a great stream. Um. So. I have decided I'm gonna rebuild the deck. So he's out of Frost Novas. Oh my fucking god. I forgot that's what playing this against this deck is. It's just fucking turn simulator, man. I have these. Let's just play them here. I have to the file next turn to get rid of my two one. I'm so gonna have to an eight is. So that's four turns in a row. Let's go for five. 
Oh yeah, fifth turn in a row. It's all the rewinds done as well. I hate this so fucking. It's. Bro. Not being able to play the fucking game is. It's frost over number six. The issue is I can't. I also can't just prevent him from playing the game. Just. This is when my hero power actually does something. Sorry, hero powering his face. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Again, I don't think this deck should get nerfed. I can acknowledge the fact that it's toxic as fuck and no one actually wants to play against it. Don't get me wrong, I can acknowledge that. But man, is this... This is bad. Like, this is really, really bad. The fact that it's this easy to do it is the issue. Oh, fuck, I hit my face. <sighs> this is the other thing that the turn he misses on a Frost Nova, he dies. It's the other big, like, that's the other issue you should see, is, you know, the day, the turn he doesn't have a Saw Alibi or a Frost Nova, he's fucked. My, like, straight up, I just have a whole bunch of 8-8s that will just fuck him up. Oh my god. To be fair, this is also an additional 40 life. By my calculations, you need to chill out. I win this game by... Making him... Can't continue going forever, can he? I don't know if he can continue looping that forever, I'll be honest. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, let's just do Domino again. Right. I'm at the point where the way I win this game is just by fatigue. I want him to just cast a spell that then started his deck to draw some cards, and then I'm pretty sure I win the game. But to be fair, at the same time, that light show is going to add up fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, him playing a spell that didn't start in his deck would be best case scenario. This is just toxic. Like... Again, I'm perfectly fine with this being a deck. And I don't want me being tilted about it to make it seem like, oh. He clearly doesn't want this to be- Oh, I don't care if this is a deck. At all. It's actually one of my least big concerns. I... 
I solely start caring when I guess when it hits well I should say when it hits me but it's it's so when you're in a position like this and you're just like man this guy has done nothing but freeze my board and I get it that's the win con of the deck is he just tilts your opponent into a loss but Let me find another way to get something with two damage. When you throw, try to win through his hero power. I'm gonna try to prevent him from doing that. One hundred percent real fake gold. Man. This is just obnoxious. Like straight up, just obnoxious. Just do this. I understand he's also looking for Magister. Um, and I don't have a way to pull anything out of his hand. If power is what you seek, not this actually tells me he's played... Okay, he's played way more than one Dawn Grasp. Yeah, three dog grass is what I thought. Five. Ten frost novas. So my board has actually been frozen for the last ten turns. It's so much fun. I love playing against this. Oh man, I feel. I feel like I should have conceded this game. Not because I think I'm okay. Well, now I lose, but I feel like I should have conceded this game for a really, really weird reason. I guess I feel like I should have conceded because I knew that this was exactly how it was going to end, and there's nothing I can do. And okay. I, I hate feeling like I'm wasting my time and kind of like if I would have conceded we would have had time for another game and You know what screw it. we're gonna we're gonna be a slightly longer video than normal just because I uh, I'll play another game because this one didn't really feel like a game Anyway, so with that being said, uh, I'm gonna queue up the next game and I'm gonna use the washroom and yeah, let's see how it goes Tamsen versus Valera. Remember my blade do not doubt my Alright. Uh Rogue, let's keep the ducks, guys. <laughs> mm, this hand's pretty shit. <laughs> Hysteria is just a lot of mana in Renathal is Renathal. I see you brought I see you brought Man, I just cracked open my window and I'm pretty sure my temp my Room's temperature dropped five plus degrees Celsius. My my window has been open since the ending of last game. And I think it's been like two minutes. Uh miss order. To be fair, forty or thirty-eight is forty or thirty-nine, sorry. Or thirty eight thirty nine, same thing. Can't go round. Go he actually hit both of them. Job done. I really was hoping to have a decent demon out by now. So I next time I could eat that because that's the other thing, right? If I did eat this. I would be in such a good position. Like, if I got into the board state I was on turn 5 or 6 last game. See, that's the other thing. Is I did not attack except for one turn between turn 3? Or no, turn, like, say, 5 and turn 10. Or, no, way more than 10. Like, turn, like, 15, 16. So, it was one of those things where it was just... 
Oh, uh, you know. Just not a pleasant experience to try and deal with. I sadly also can't turn in for a cube. It's just gonna be that coin one drop out of five five. I also finished my beer between games and now I'm a little upset. I wanted my beer. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna grab another beer. Fuck this. Fuck the rules. I don't make the rules of how to make YouTube videos, I just do them. I guess I can continue talking while I'm here, but. I'm in our Bruce, man. What do I draw? He played a Rheothal in a location. I hate my fucking hand so bad. This hand is awful. Until next turn. Right? That's that's like the worst part. Is like if I could just slam this next turn and he doesn't go off too hard. I have like double end game after that, which is gonna be huge. And we'll probably be able to win me the game. Especially if we add the heebies to the equation. Because that kills something plus, you know. I'm hoping that he has one or two minions out. Um, this turn. Sorry, I'm pouring my beer into my glass. And I'm trying not to make it overflow. He really hit double reborn. The fact he hit double reborn is what tilts the fuck out of me here. It's by far the best one to hit. I do get a slam this now though. Oh, is this better? This eats. Two they both eat two things. This gives me at least a five-five. Let's just go face here. Because right now, these two go into this. Take five, I'm at 20. I have this that can eat another one. I'm not sure these reborn with one health or not, but. Nope, he's going off. He actually hit a pirate. There's like one pirate in that pack. <laughs> really unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, well, he had everything in his deck. I mean, yeah, he just hit everything. Oh well, I, I probably shouldn't say that. People get mad at me when it's when I'm playing clearly a bad deck or a deck that's not like even qualified underneath the ladder. Or tier list or whatever, and then I bitch about losing to an actual decent deck. Like, yes, Quest Rogue is not tier one, but it's also not rogue like garbage tier. It's not cube lock tier. It's I'd probably say it's actually probably tier three. Like the deck is still decent, and it could put up numbers and it's pretty fast. And you know, it's good. Like I think I think the deck is definitely good, and I can see why its popularity is coming back. You know, I could definitely see why, because in the current meta, like, I feel like it's going to be pretty good. But, hey. I should not bitch about losing to it, though. Uh, especially not playing a deck like Q-Block. But the fact that we even got one win, I'm honestly fine with, just because I, I like the deck. And it was against... It was in Secret Mage, but it was a <clears throat> bad Secret Mage list. I'm sorry, but... It's true. Um... Besides that, I don't really have anything else to say. I'll be honest. Besides, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we can get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.